What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walker. Okay, so, yeah, it's kind of pouring. Look at that, it's kind of pouring. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Um, and then it's kind of hot, kind of hotter than California. Damn. Anywho, in our last episode, yes, we went through the underwater path, or, yeah, underwater layer. Um... Dungeon, whatever it's called. I don't even call it. I'm just doing this on purpose. I don't even know, guys. Yeah, we awaken Kyogre, and uh, yeah, something's going on right here. Yeah, because we awaken Kyogre, we are having an imbalance in the weather. As you can see, it is scorching hot, and then it's pouring, meaning that both Kyogre and Groudon are just pissed off they are pissed off so now we have to go over to Suitopolis City because apparently there's something going on right there that we need to take care of so uh, this is exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna be going to Suitopolis City right now um now that we have the uh, Hydra number three uh you know not not as a permanent member of the team but you know helping us out you know moving along in this whole area that we have to dive around so here we go Swamp Lord let's do this so it is pouring it is pouring, and uh, let's see, if I remember correctly, we are in Route 129, already battled these people, and this is uh, getting crazy right here, so we are way past Route um, Sutopolis City, and uh, we've already battled all these people right here, so I am following the Yellow Brick Road right here, maybe, I don't even know, am I right, oh no, so let's see, we're just trying to get to Sutopolis City, that's all I'm trying to do, so I believe it's right around here. Yes, it is. We see white stones, and uh, now we're diving. Yes, we're going to be diving because when you see white stones, that's where Sutopolis City is. And all you need to do now is dive and find that entrance right there. So, as you can see, my rappel's wearing off as quickly as I got it. Yeah, this they should probably made it like 300 steps. And, uh, yeah, look at that. An entrance. Another entrance right here. Now we're just going to, yeah, get up there. And we're in Sutopolis City. Now, once you get into Sutopolis City, something's cracking right there. As you can see, both Groudon and Kyogre fighting. So as you can see, yeah, these Pokemon are having a huge battle. Now you can get close to them. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Oh, crud. So yeah, they're having a huge battle in Sutopolis City, and it's causing a very, very huge rift in the uh, the weather right here. So it's probably going to kill the whole world if we don't do anything about it. So here we are, Sutopolis City. There's Steven Stone, so I might as well talk to him and see what's going on right here. Those Pokemon fighting Groudon and Kyogre. Those two super ancient Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep, and now they are smashing, e smashing each other with uncontrollable energy. Draven, you being here now, I'll take uh, or I'll take to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. Well, then there's someone that I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Now we're following, 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 and look at that. It's Sutopolis City, guys. This is Sutopolis City. Not much to see. Uh, if you guys are playing Pokemon Ruby and uh, or Zapphire, it's this doesn't really happen at all. It's just the imbalance. Whatever Pokemon you awaken, the weather changes to what that Pokemon is. It doesn't really show that. Now, here's Draven, or here's Steven Stone. He's like, listen, Draven. Does seeing Groudon and Kyogre make you think Pokemon are, are to be feared? Not really. But that's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why am I asking you this? You already know. Yeah, I kind of know. I mean, I've been playing this for like damn near 20 years, right? And uh, we're moving along right here to the Origin Cave, or Cave of Origins and all that stuff. Or the Cave of Orange. I don't even know. I would like to say the Cave of, or of Orange. And, uh, well, it's opened up, and Steven's like, Okay, we here we are. Inside you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have to, or I think you have what what's needed to help him. Alright, so here we are. The Cave of Origin. This is it. This is exactly where you'll find the legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire. Yeah. Where you'll battle them, capture them, battle them, whatever. But in this story mode right here in Pokemon Emerald, this is where we're actually going to start finding out, like, hey, this is what we need to do. We need to stop these Pokemon. Gattaca. And, oh, crud. Oh, crud. It's really quiet. And it's 
it's smoky in here, so there should be a Pokemon in there, right? I, I don't even know. Okay, so gotta find Wallace, and there he is. I believe that's him. So we talked to him. He's like, ah, so you're Draven. I've heard tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader of the Sutopolis gym, but something came up. So now I have entrusted my mentor, Juan, with the gym's operation. Hmm. You don't think. Groudon and Kyogre, the two Pokemon wrecking havoc here, are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There's one more somewhere. Somewhere, there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It's said that it was uh, Rayquaza that becalmed the two combatants in a distant past. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. Hmm, I think I may have that, that clue right now. Draven, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? Yeah, probably. I don't know. I may have gone there somewhere. If you do, please tell me. You know, I want to tell him the Cave of Origin, but we're in the Cave of Origin. And I do want to tell him Mount Pyre because, hey, you know, I don't want him capturing Rayquaza and all that stuff. So, I uh, might as well be honest right here. So, here we go. Sky Pillar. He's like, the Sky Pillar? That's it. It must be the Sky Pillar. Draven, there's not a moment to lose. We'll head to Sky Pillar right away. Okay, where'd you go? Okay, that's kind of scary. Um, yeah, so now we have to go to the Sky Pillar, which is pretty awesome, I guess. I don't know. And uh, we got to get the heck out of here. Now, if you guys remember, in Ruby and Sapphire, this place is like seven floors, I think. So now, after we're getting that done, we just have to, you know, step outside a little and talk to Steven. He's like, the Sky Pillar. I've never been there. I wonder where it could be. I've been there before. I mean once and uh crud okay so i completely forgot that i had a, uh yeah i had a uh, what was his name again skyblade yeah skyblade in the pc because i didn't really need him for right now i didn't think i needed him and uh well we're gonna go to the pokemon center and i cannot wow this place is like a maze right here so i need to go to the pokemon center and grab my pokemon right now and, uh, well, everybody's watching this whole battle. I mean, I bet they're betting money right now. And, uh, let's see. Let's see what these two Jamokes have to say. Talk to this guy. He's like, Groudon, please stop what you're doing. I know the extent of your power now. If you keep going, all of Owen, not just Sutopolis, will suffer or utterly s ruined. Uh, will be utterly ruined. Wow, I can't even read. Talk to this guy. Kyogre, what's wrong? Look over here. It's the red orb. Calm down, Kyogre. Dot, 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 dot. It's no good. It's not responding at all. You guys are idiots. You're an idiot, and you're an idiot. Uh, it, you're definitely an idiot, and you wear glasses. Jesus. People with glasses are supposed to be smart. I don't even know. I don't even know. All right. So moving on forward, we're gonna be going to the Pokemon Center and grabbing our good old buddy Skyblade just to get to the Sky Pillar and do the whole sky thing because you know it's i guess the sky rules over all so let's move our pokemon right now and look at our buddies right here so skyblade how you doing buddy move along and we're gonna be replacing him with kyder number three because hey he already fulfilled his duties now it's time to move on right here and now that you've already been into Sutopolis City, you can actually surf out of here, or no, actually fly out of here. So now we have to go all the way to Pacific Log, uh, Pacific Log Town. Thankfully, we already did that in our side quest. And uh, as you can see, there's nothing really going on right here. So now we actually have to go straight to the Sky Pillar. And uh, I'm going to use this repel because I don't want to be battled by any of the Pokemon. And uh, let's see. Let's go with Surf. I know I didn't have to do that. Why did I do that? I feel like so, such an old school person. And luckily, I already battled everybody. I already battled you. Kick your butt. Kick your butt. And uh, I'm going to go right here. Where are you? And as you can see, we are here in the Sky Pillar. That's right, Sky Pillar. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, Sky Pillar? Now, if you remember before, we couldn't go in. And uh, would you look at that? It's Wallace. He's like... Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I didn't notice that I left you behind. I've opened the, lo the locked door of Sky Pillar. Draven, let's be on our way. Oh crud. It's an earthquake. There's not a moment to waste. We've got to hurry. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's move along right here. Oh dang, oh earthquake. Holy crud. Hmm, the situation is getting worse. 
This isn't good. The weather distortion is spreading even here. Draven, Rayquaza should be a farther up from here. I'm worried about Zootopolis. I've got to go back. Everything is up. Everything is in your hands now. Don't fail us. Don't tell me how to do my life. Don't, don't tell me how to live my life. Seriously. All right. So here it is. A sky pillar. As you can see, it is uh, clear of everything. Um, your first visit, your first official visit in Sky Pillar, it's going to be easy just to get to Rayquaza. Look at that. There's nothing. Nothing. But in the second visit, when you have to capture him, now that's where it's going to get difficult. So, yeah, don't feel too comfortable, guys. Do not feel too comfortable because, it, oh, yeah, look at that. Nothing. Nothing at all. Do not feel comfortable. And, uh, okay, so we need... Wait, do I have... Ah, crud. Okay, so, let's see. Hold on, hold on. Let's see, let's see. Oh, okay, so, yeah, never mind. So, there it is, and we're moving on right here, and we are, wow, that hole is getting bigger, and uh, I do not want to get attacked by any wild Pokemon right now. I know there's some wild Pokemon right there. And uh, let's go up here, and as you can see, we are at the top of Sky Pillar, and uh, holy crud, there's a, there is a huge ass snake there. Oh crud. Should I poke it? I'm gonna poke it with a stick. Should probably poke it with a stick. Should I poke it with a stick, guys? I'm gonna go poke it with a stick. So let's see what this guy's all about. Oh dang. Oh, he's awake. Oh damn. That's a big ass snake. And he is pissed. The awakened Rayquaza flew off. Oh dang. Okay, so. <laughs> Alrighty, so. <laughs> We took care of that. I guess we're going to have to go back to Sutopolis City. So let's see what happens when we go back to Sutopolis. Luckily for us, we can fly there now. And uh, here we go. Flying back to Sutopolis City. And uh, here we are back in Sutopolis. And uh, uh oh. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, so that's all it needed. Wow. That is all it, it needed to... Wow, holy crud. Uh, so, if I can interpret this whole thing, it, I, I, I'm, I'm taking it as that, you know, hey, you know, Rayquaza came down and he said, hey, shut up! Go back to sleep! That's pretty much what he did. So, uh, I guess I saved the world, right? I think. Let me see. Let me talk to this person. What, what, what? What is that green Pokemon? Uh, it's a Pokemon, right? Oh! It was you who brought that flying Pokemon here. Well, aren't you amazing? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you very much for acknowledging greatness. When that third Pokemon flew down, I feared the worst. Yeah, probably feared nothing. Wow, that was wicked. All right, okay, all right. So, let's see what these two dumbasses have to say. So, we're going to surf, and we're going to see what this is all about. Let's talk to this guy. Kyogre and Groudon both flew off to who knows where. The weather in the Hoenn has returned to its normal state. <laughs> Maybe that we are trying to do what was, was something small, even meaningless, to Pokemon. Okay, all right. So let's see what this guy has to say. So the super ancient Pokemon were only Groudon and Kyogre. After all our fruitless scheming and frantic efforts, the one Pokemon's simple actions put everything right. Again, if nothing has happened. Hmm. <laughs> And uh, they disappear. Wow. Huh. Where'd they go? Where'd you guys go? I don't even know. Talk to this guy. He's like, 
It looks like both Max and Archie have gone away somewhere. Perhaps they've gone uh, to Mount Pyre to return those orbs. Probably, probably, I don't even know. Draven, my ass didn't deceive me. Thanks to your help, Sotopolis, no, all of Hoenn was saved. On behalf of the, the people, I thank you. This is a gift for me to you. Please accept it. And we get ourselves the HM07. Unfortunately, we can't really use it right now because we have to beat this gem. That's, or that hidden machine contains waterfall. If you have the rain badge and Pokemon that, uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. If you have the rain badge and a Pokemon that has learned that that HM can move can, can, or can force its way up to waterfalls, wow. And where does one get the rain badge? You know, don't you? That's right. You have to beat the Sutopolis gym leader right here. When you're all set to go, step through that door. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So we saved all of Owen. So stay tuned, guys, in our next adventure or our next episode. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Unpredictability. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Completely forgot, guys. If you guys want to know what happened to both uh, Maxi and Archie, this is where you need to go back to Mount Pyre because, uh, yeah, after the events right here, they learned, I guess they learned their, the, the, the errors of their ways or whatever. And uh, once you go up here, you're going to see both Maxi and Archie just walk away. And, uh, well, Maxi comes up to us. He's like, Draven. He doesn't say shit. Wow. Okay. All right. So... That's pretty much it. You only say my name. So let's see what, what what they have to say. The two men who took the orbs came back to return them on their own. Those men, perhaps they're not evil after all. Hmm. It is my role to pass on the legends of Hoenn to the future generations. And the crisis that just ended in Sutopolis rewrote a legend. Have you the time to hear a new legend of Hoenn? Uh, okay, sure, why not? Add a few more seconds to this. It happened long, long ago. The world was racked by a ferocious clash between Pokemon of the land and the Pokemon of the sea. The Pokemon of the land raised the mountains and created continents. The Pokemon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. Their fierce, uh, their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in a massive fires and vicious storms. It was that, that Pokemon of the sky descended from a storm. The Pokemon shining a vivid green become the two enraged Pokemon. Then, it's duty. It's duty done. The green Pokemon flew off into the wild uh, blue yonder. Okay, you forgot the roll. You forgot the part about how I kind of called them and said, "Hey, come up us out, man." I don't know. Yeah, so they forgot that one. Anywho, guys, now for reals, for reals, uh, we'll see what happens in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>